guys, today I've got a tag for you. It's the I Love Drugstore Makeup Tag. So let's just get right into it. All right, the first question is, what's your favorite drugstore makeup brand? And I'm gonna have to go with Revlon. I love their foundations and tons of their lip products. I just think out of all the big drugstore brands, Revlon is really doing very well as far as um, all of their products lately, especially their lip products, they're completely dominating the drugstore field, I think. Question number two. What are your favorite face, cheek, and lip products? So for face, I have chosen two products. I don't know if that's technically cheating or what. But first I have this Revlon Colorstay Whipped Foundation. My color is 150 Buff, in case you were wondering. But I love this stuff. This is the first foundation I've ever bought that I've actually gotten a backup for. Like, whenever I have foundation, I mean, I usually, they're like, whatever, they're kind of, there's some issues with them, and I don't totally like them, but, um, and then whenever I start to run out, I'll get something different, I'll try something new. But this is the first one, this Colorstay Whipped is the first one that I've actually really enjoyed using, and actually went back out and bought another one when I ran out of the first. The second product, second face product that's my favorite is this Milani Multitasking Face Powder, and mine is in... Zero One Light, but I love this stuff. I've never really found a face powder that I really enjoyed either, and this one's definitely it. It's not too cakey, it isn't really powdery, it's just really smooth, almost creamy. It's a really nice face powder. I really, really like this stuff. All right, as far as my favorite cheek product goes, I have this e.l.f. Healthy Glow Bronzing Powder. And this one is in Sunkissed. I think it's the lightest, lighter of the two that are sold in uh, Targets and stuff like that. It's only a dollar, but it's just a bronzer. I mean, I use it all over, you know, the big three. I use it all over. It's, um, it's just really glowy. I used to hate it. I just rediscovered this one in my collection just going through my stuff. And I was like, let's try that out again. And I didn't really like it at first, but now that I've retried using it, I actually like it quite a bit. So for my favorite lip products, I've got these Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stains. I've got four different colors of those. And I really do enjoy these whenever I'm just running around and I forget to have a lip product or whatever, I forget to put one on before I leave the house. I have tons of them laying in my purse and these are always the ones that I go for first. Question number three is what is your least favorite drugstore product? And I'm gonna have to go with these e.l.f. Essentials eyeshadows. I know they're only a dollar and I know a lot of people think they're pretty cool. For for a dollar I mean they're alright but I think they're just not pigmented. They're really powdery. I mean I have a lot of issues with these. I'd much rather go for like a Wet n Wild, one of their little trios or something. I mean they go for like $2.99 or whatever but Honestly, those Wet n Wild ones pay off much, much better than these $1 e.l.f. eyeshadow quads do. So question number four is what is the best makeup bargain? And speaking of Wet n Wild, I have chosen these Wet n Wild Color Icon 8 Pan Palettes. They are awesome. They run like $4.95 or whatever, under 5 bucks at the drugstore. And they are... Wet n Wild is just awesome. They have incredible products, in my opinion. Wet n Wild shadows are really pigmented. They have great color selection. Overall, they are awesome. They are a great deal if you ever come across them. So question number five is, what's your favorite underdog product? And for that, I've chosen this e.l.f. all over color, all over color stick. I only have one of them, and this one is in Pink Lemonade, and it actually does smell kind of like Pink Lemonade, but that's besides the point. It, uh, it's like a cheek product or a lip product. You can put it on as like a lip balm. You can rub it into your cheeks as a, a, like a cream blush, and they're only a dollar, and Elf is kind of hit and miss for me. Some of their stuff is really good. Some of their $1 Essentials line is really good, and some of it's kind of iffy, but this is definitely one of the good ones. Question number six is a drugstore product that is overpriced, and I'm going to have to go with these L'Oreal Infallible Lip Colors, like this red Beyonce one. I'm sure everyone's seen this one. 
they're just a really long wearing lip color. I mean, you put on the lip color and then let it sit and then you put on the like the glossy balm over it and then it'll stay on all day long. You can eat and drink and do whatever you want to do, but it's it's going to be there all day long. And they are pretty good. They are they work and they uh they work well. They'll stay on all day long. However, these ones run like 9.99 at Walmarts or Targets. But CoverGirl has a very similar product. These are the CoverGirl Outlast lip colors. It's the same concept. You've got the stain here, and then you've got the balm that goes on top, and they last just as long, just as pigmented. Great product, just like L'Oreal, except these ones run like $6.99. They're like three bucks cheaper. And I know, I mean, some of you might be saying it's only three bucks, but honestly, I think they work just as well as the L'Oreal, so why not save three bucks? All right. Number seven is show your drugstore dupes. I don't own any high-end products. I mean, I might, I have one Urban Decay Glide-On pencil. I think that's about it. All I have is drugstore stuff, so I really can't help you out in that department. Question number eight is the drugstore product that isn't worth the hype. And for that, I'm gonna go with my e.l.f. HD powder. This is something else. I mean, I've watched, before I bought it, I watched plenty of reviews on it to see what other people were saying about it. And everybody was like, it's awesome, it gets rid of all your shine, it sets everything perfect, stays all day long, you know. It looks awesome on camera, looks awesome in pictures, all that stuff. But it is like so cakey. Like, when I put it on, on top of any foundation, it makes it look so cakey, like I piled gallons and gallons of foundation on my face. It looks ridiculous, honestly. So I'm sorry to say that e.l.f. HD powder I really do not like. And it goes for six bucks. And I think there are plenty of other powders in the drugstore that you can get for six bucks that work way, way better than this stuff. Alrighty guys, so that was the tag. I hope you enjoyed. Please click that like button, comment and subscribe for more, and I will talk to you guys soon. See ya!